Hey everyone, welcome back to another Counterside video. So today's video, we're discussing new incoming units, Alex and Lyudmila and others as well. Before that, if you want an updated Counterside videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay guys, so we are about to receive a new um, set of updates tomorrow, September 29. I was able to discuss this yesterday most of them, um, including um, Janus, um, I'll put a link up there for those who haven't seen that video. But let's get further in this um, crystal ball or incoming units. So as you can see here, October 6th, we have incoming as well, um, two new banners. And on the 13th, we have new info of episode 6 being released, okay? Uh, October 13th is two weeks from now, but that is just, uh, you know, around the corner. And next would be um, an event, Team Maze Challenge Activity. So, Memories of the Labyrinth. So, Coffin 6 is going to be released in, in Taiwan server, but not sure in Southeast Asia. But we might get um, Coffin 6 on October 20. Okay, so that's only 13 and 20. Then on October 20th... We have a Season Pass, another edition of Season Pass, which will be getting Lyudmila. So, um, this is going to be a very good uh, Season Pass or Counter Pass for us. Then, we also have Alex. So, Old Administration Maze Division Alex will be available as well on October 20. So, it's around 3 um, incoming for the 20th and 1. Um, incoming for October 13. So let's take a look at Alex, guys. Um, I'll, I'll break down, you know, with you guys um, a preview of Alex and of Lyudmila. Okay, so we have your old administration, Maze Division, Alex. So she is actually an SSR striker counter with only three cost. One of the most tankiest um, strikers we have um, and increases her attack as she decreases her HP. So she's a berserker type. Um, as she, again, as she lowers her HP, increases her attack. So she can really ditch a lot of damage combined with her ability to improve buffs as well. So, and her low cost makes her great in PvP. Her KR PvP score is seven out of 10, a low cost tanky striker that can be used anywhere. Okay, so she can be used in PvE and PvP, this actually gives us more, you know, more options at the striker position, but she shines in uh, Shadow Palace more, okay? And uh, where you use strikers as your frontline the most, more or less. Then at KR PvP, so she, her buyer as her buyers actually are annoying in PvP, and she can remove buffs with her special. She can now detect stealth units and attack them. If she can counter Albion meta, we will have to see when the ship isn't banned. So, she, But she looks promising as of the moment. So looking forward to October 20th, probably three weeks from now, to get her as well. So if, if you're asking me if she's worth pulling, if you like PvP, and if you want to run a striker team, which most of us are running right now, then you can get her for pve actually guys you can save her up for shadow palace so let's take a look at alex's skill set okay guys so we are here at alex um let us try to check out her skill set um while we are doing a preview of her skills so let's do a practice deployment so as you can see, guys, um, let's deploy Alex. Um, her basic attack is uh, swings a high power device, inflicting AOE damage in the front. So if you can see, her her basic attack has a big range of motion. Um, I think it hits that far. Um, and it's an AOE damage as well. So her passive is going to damage limiter. So detect stealth activities uh, sorry, the detect stealth activates her device when HP drops to 50 or lower. So basic attack addition, base, basic attacks additionally attack and all attacks create a barrier equal to 3% of 
of max HP for five seconds. So it is here in her base, her passive that she creates her barrier. Okay, at skill level five attack up to 50% based on HP loss, immunity to hit stun from special or lower skills during her barrier. Okay, then her, her special guys is going to be life overdrive, which is going to be 18 seconds. So amplifies her device output temporarily enforcing her physical capabilities inflicting aoe damage okay in front and increases max hp by 25 percent for 12 seconds at skill level five okay let's add a couple of guys here um and let's uh, make them attack her um okay uh, back to her special so at skill level five hp plus 50 percent instead randomly removes one permanent one non-permanent buff okay the, the max hp buff doesn't increase her current hp but it affects any heals bars she receives during the time because they are based on her max hp okay so very again this is why she's very tanky um in terms of additional um what they call this additional uh hp to her at skill level five so next is her uh, ultimate which is um side chain compressor let's try to take a look at how it looks first okay so side chain compressor wow actually i like the red in terms of the animation for her skill and red really works on her okay so let's take a look at that ultimate again and see how She's going to sweep everybody off her feet. Nice. I think very, very long range as well. So um, her ultimate is going to be uh, maximizes her device output and causes an underground explosion inflicting AOE damage in front. Okay, so again, very good for a striker. Um, AOE is pretty much very appreciated. At scalable 5, damage increases up to 50% based on HP loss. So this is where... She gets additional damage based on the HP that she loses. So basically, her build, guys, is going to be... For me, it's going to be build off HP. I'm not sure yet on what the other stats. But again, a full HP set is, I think, going to be good for her. Um, next, after her, we're going to take a look at uh, Lyudmila. Let's uh, last look at her ultimate skill, guys. Really, really looks nice. There you go. So let's move on to Lyudmila. Okay, guys. So we have here Lyudmila. She is SSR as well. Sniper and a counter, which has a four cost, which is usually the average for most strikers in this game. Um, the only striker I think that we have at three cost is for now for Southeast Asia is the pink hair. The uh, what do you call this? The pink hair. The the one that the brings out nukes so so far <laughs> actually forgot her name anyway um she's going to be four cost and she's a unique air sniper so we have another air unit and she wields telekinetic powers and a big cannon to do her work so due to her passive she can fill fit in any team and work well there so she can also hit flying units so Rosario and evelyn won't survive for long once you mila enters the battle so Basically, what I'm understanding with her with her build is that she prioritizes air units. So I think this is the end for or what do you call this for Rosaria and Evelyn. But I hope it's not because they they are both utility units already. As for KR PVE, she is a 10 out of 10, so she is used well in Shadow Palace. So. I've been hearing so much from Shadow Palace that we haven't had this yet. So hopefully we can have this soon. So very good in PvE for Shadow Palace. PvP as well, a 10 out of 10. But she's very squishy. She can be, I think, killed by um, Elizabeth. And she dies if someone sneezes in her direction. So basically she's a frail... She's a, she's a glass cannon, no pun intended. She's really a cannon. She brings a cannon. Okay, but she can de she can you know deal a lot of damage. She's a top tier in KR and used in variety of teams. 
So is she worth pulling? Of course. She's great in PvP and also great in PvE. So both PvE and PvP have a score of 10. So let's take a look at her skills, guys. Okay, so we have here Lyudmila. So again, let's take a look at her skills during deployment. Okay, so let's try to have some buggers um, in the air and in the ground. And let's deploy her and let's see how she does. So she's flying, guys. Um, really, really not love the colors of violet or purple. So she actually prioritizes air over ground. So as you can see there, let's try to, let's try to kill them off. Okay, and then let's spawn again too. So as you can see, even if there is a ground um, unit, she would first hit the air unit. Okay, so take note of that. Remotely controls a naval cannon and fires, um, and fires a single target in front on a regular basis. So targets air units within range and stops attacking if the target dies or moves 15 meters away from her. Okay, she's mainly first air, then ground targets. Then her passive is unlocks a new power every time an ally leaves the field. So probably dies or just leaves the field depending on its type. So increases crit if there are counters and, and uh, attack, attack stat if soldiers by 5% up to 50%. So those are the conditions if mechs crazy barrier equal to 50% of the max HP for 10 seconds at skill level 5 crit slash attack instead of up to 50% so the crit slash attack is a plus 10% fixed amount okay which is actually very good especially if you are um, bringing here in um, rush teams um, she's going to be very, very good. So next is going to be coordinate slots. It's her special. It's a 20 second cooldown. Kinetically gathers enemies in front. So that is it. The, 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 the violet or the purple. She gathers them in a, in, in the center. Then, um, you know, bring, brings out an energy right in the center and uh, shoots at them okay so gathers enemy levitates them and fires a cannon knock, knocking them backward with aoe damage so at skill level five cooldown is going to be a minus four seconds which brings down the cooldown to 16 seconds only which is actually very good i think probably for her um the best would be cdr i think you want to spam her skills which is actually very good. You can actually do CDR. And her ultimate is going to be last ditch effort. So 55 second cooldown. And let's check it out. Check it out. So she's pissed. Nice graphics, guys. Purple all the way. Like Mace Windu. So nice graphics. So let's have a look at that again. So musters her strength and throws an abandoned ship. So that is where she got the cannon, probably, from that abandoned ship and throws it to the enemies in front. The ship crashes into the ground and continuously pulls enemies before it explodes with AoE damage. At scalable 5, last attack target speed and attack speed minus 25% for 15 seconds. Again, it, it slows them down. So... Again, she's going to be very good as an anti-air um, counter. And sorry to say, guys, I think it's true. I think Rosaria and Evelyn are just going to wither and die because of her. Um, okay, I thought it was going to disconnect, but no. Okay, so that is it, guys, for um, Yudmila and for Alex. So... More or less, we will have enough time before we get them. So it's going to be three weeks before they arrive. If you want to save up for them, you still have time. And more or less, guys, these are um, incoming units for the next two to three weeks. So anyway, guys, so thank you very much for staying this far in this video. Um, if you 
consider subscribing also please click that bell icon and also put a like to this video thank you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here